What's up, Board Game with Education community? So today is our last episode of Season 12. We'll be back with Season season 13, but it's going to look different, and I'm going to share some updates about that in a minute. But today's episode, I'm going to share with you some resources that you can normally find in our newsletter. There'll be a link below or link in the show notes to sign up for that newsletter if you are not already signed up. Also, I'm going to share again some updates, and we have one major update that we'll share too, as well as what season 13 is going to look like. So let's go. All right, so for today's episode, we are going to look at some resources and some things worth sharing that I feel like you would really felt find helpful. Uh, Board Game with Education is all about sharing the mission of tabletop games for learning. We're really, really about and focusing on exploring or sharing tabletop games, sharing the modern hobby with people that are not really aware of newer tabletop games. So that's one really focus we have at Board Game with Education. And then our second focus, and actually this is our primary focus, is tabletop games for learning. So sharing with others how we can leverage tabletop games for learning and how the game-based learning, gamification, just games in general can really be leveraged for learning through play. So those are kind of the two things we really focus on with Board Game with Education, and that's why we do this newsletter. We have different resources related to these two things, so I want to go into the newsletter right now. Um, this is what the newsletter looks like, so this is actually midway through. We're going to look at <laughs> address to myself, so hello, Dustin. Um, so in this newsletter... Um, there's a few things I, it's looked different over the years. So usually I like to try to kind of have a middle, I middle area of the newsletter. So if you're listening to this on the podcast, be sure to check out the newsletter. You can sign up on the show notes. It's also on YouTube. I'm going over this visually as well. Um, you can check it out on YouTube, but I'm going over some things and I'm going to talk about some things in the newsletter and always in the newsletter, we kind of have a middle like focused area that shares with you a summarized version of what you can find in the newsletter. So the last newsletter from last week, we have a few things, um, how to get involved with board game with education, some new games we've added to our website, um, recent board game with education content. We share our board game crates, other resources worth checking out. So those are other resources we've found across the web, our Kickstarter calendar, and our game of the week. So we always highlight a game of the week. But let's start off with how to get involved with Board Game with Education community because this stuff can be super helpful, super resourceful. Um, there's a lot of people out there that have a lot of experience using games for learning, and I think it's definitely worth checking out. The first thing I'm going to jump down to here right first off is join our Facebook group. This is a conversation that Matthew Tidbury, he is the designer of City of Zombies. It's a game about math. A really cool theme on this topic. So math can, some people can find math very bland and very boring, but he uses this theme of zombies to make a really cool spin on it. But he asked this question about why educational games are utterly rubbish. So why I, I kind of share the same sentiments. So there's a lot of educational games that are not engaging as a game. They have some educational value, some educational content value in the game, but they lack some of that engaging experiences that we find in other mass market or hobby board games or video games. So he asked this question and there's some really good responses here I'll let you go to YouTube or check out our Facebook group to check out some of the answers. A lot of different responses. You can go to, again, game-based learning, gamification, and games and education. I'll leave a link below for that Facebook group too. A couple other ways to get involved with Board Game with Education that we have in our newsletter. One is we are really looking for others interested in contributing resources. So one thing we do at Board Game with Education, we create resources for tabletop games so teachers and parents can use those games for learning. Um, another thing we're really looking for is anyone that's willing to check out our website, give us some feedback. Um, you can get some edu-gamer points, which are essentially store credit for Board Game with Education. Another thing we have in our newsletter are some recent 
episodes from our podcast. So I'll talk more about what our podcast will look like in season 13. So the last couple episodes, if you haven't checked them out, definitely do. They're about using tabletop games in the class. And both these episodes are really great for thinking about um, how you might use them in the classroom in a socially distanced classroom. So specifically the last episode, 146, is using tabletop games in person in a socially distanced classroom. The episode before that is talking with William Brown from The Hungry Gamer, and we talk about how he used a game called Thousand Year Old Vampire in his classroom. Really, really clever idea, really unique take on how he used that game. Definitely worth checking out that episode too, and this game you can definitely play socially distanced as well. Um, the next thing up in our newsletter are our board game crates. Really excited. I'm putting one together uh, today, and we're going to ship it out very soon to a teacher uh, out on the East Coast. Uh, she's hopefully starting a board game club next year, so she's kind of building up her board game library. Really excited to get that board game crate to her. Um, another thing in our newsletter are just new games. We're always adding new games on our website. And supporting our site really helps support our mission of tabletop games for learning. And then we have a section where we have other resources or articles or other things we find helpful, useful across the web. Um, this last one is gamification and flipped learning and their influence on aspects related to teaching learning process. So this article, I think, is super valuable in a sense that it has a lot of data based on what they've researched or that data on um, this topic. So I I don't know. I wish they had more practical discussion in this research paper. It is very much like a research paper. Um, if they had more practical discussion to how they did it and how you can do it would be super helpful. Um, something I did this, this is the first time I flipped my classroom a couple years before the pandemic, uh, used Google Classroom, flipped my classroom, used uh, created video content, um, and I found it super helpful doing both those things at once, flipping my classroom and using gamification. It was a lot of work, though. So if you have any questions about that, you can leave a comment below or send me an email, podcast at boardgamewitheducation.com. If that's something that maybe is worth creating a whole video about, definitely leave a comment below or a whole podcast episode about um, how I did both flipping my classroom and gamification. Um, the next thing up on our newsletter is our Kickstarter calendar. So that is a Kickstarter. If you're not familiar with what that is, essentially you are crowdfunding a game. And what's really cool about Kickstarter, you find a lot of indie small published games on there. And that is usually a lot of ways that tabletop games for learning are able to be published. Um, they're usually by small publishers. Uh, there's not always a lot of uh, money behind these types of games, and it's usually someone with a passion for using tabletop games for learning. So really cool. We compile some games that we see that might have some benefit for learning. They're not, we're not always sure because we haven't played the game. The game's not out yet, so it's more of a uh, sourced information that we find that you may find helpful. You may like the game. Uh, maybe you just like the theme of the game or maybe the game's related to some sort of um, learning theme as well. Game of the week. This game of the week was Wavelength. Love this game. Uh, super quick game. Uh, you can play, like, the whole game technically has points and you score points, but you can really just play a round of this game. A uh, really, really quick way to use advisory period. Really quick way to add some... Um, classroom culture too. You could do this maybe once a week on Fridays, play this game, uh, see how close students get to scoring. Like uh, you score on a scale. So based on scoring, you could reward your class somehow based on a scale of scoring in the game. Um, a really cool game, Wavelength. And then the last thing is our Edugamer membership. So if you sign up on our website, boardgamewitheducation.com, you go to my account, you get 500 Edugamer points, which is essentially just $5 of store credit. So that is what is up with Board Game with Education, our newsletter, some resources. I hope you found some of that stuff, that information helpful. Um, now I want to share some updates. So 
We're going to go into what season 13 is going to look like. I want to share some updates with some board game conventions and then share our major update. So season 13, the board game with education podcast is going to be based on how often we are able to schedule guests to chat about games for learning. So with that said, we are creating other content on other channels. So the podcast is very much focused for these types of conversations. Um, there may be some solo episodes or other guests. So very much games for learning uh, where this YouTube channel, if you're watching on YouTube, will create, we're branching our focus on other tabletop games and kind of just having a little more fun with the content we create. It's not gonna be related to games for learning necessarily. So if you're interested in that, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll still have on our YouTube channel Games for Learning. So every podcast episode will also have a video format to it as well. So don't worry, we're still gonna create some content for Games for Learning that's still gonna be there, it's not going away. Um, so that's kind of the main change. Uh, what we're still kind of weighing in on options. I'm thinking what might be really cool is doing a weekly calendar and on that weekly calendar I will share with everyone when I will be recording an episode with a guest and we'll do those episodes live so you can tune into those episodes live um, and then those live episodes will be available on a video format on YouTube as well as a podcast episode so very much like we've been doing in the past with our guests but also we'll have a live version of that as well, so you can tune in live. Um, I think that will create uh, a lot of fun. Hopefully, we'll get some great questions with our guests live too. I think that it's gonna be gonna be really cool. So that's kind of the main thing. Also, I mentioned we're creating other content. We're on TikTok and Instagram as well. I'll leave those links below. I'm leaving a lot of links, so <laughs> choose which ones you want to kind of check out and which ones you want to follow. Um, so that's the the podcast and how that's changing. The next up is our conventions. Um, so we're gonna be heading to, for sure, Origins. Uh, that is in the end of September, early October. Um, we're likely going to BGGCon. Um, we're looking at maybe getting a booth there. So that's still kind of up in the air. Um, we'll have a decision about that in the next couple weeks. That's mid-November. And then we're also doing a couple other things. We're doing this really cool uh, Valley Festival here in um, the San Fernando Valley in Los Angeles. So if you're in the area, um, August 28th, this is like a big uh, festival at the local mall here, uh, the Topanga Mall. So we're excited for that. We'll be doing that August 28th. And we're also doing LA Comic Con. So that is in December. So that will be also, uh, we'll have a booth there. Um, we'll be selling some of our games uh, we'll be promoting board games for learning. So definitely if you're in LA for LA Comic Con, come check us out there. And finally, those are a lot of lot of announcements, a lot of updates, some big things happening, but we have an even bigger update. I'm super excited to share this and we are opening a brick and mortar store. So uh, <laughs> that's a big, big update. Um, we have a lot of work to do. We're still in the planning stages. We're at least six months out we well, I, originally i had a quicker timeline but i've had some talks with others and some uh i have a mentor as well that's kind of suggested moving that timeline so we're at least six months out um we're looking to open in the first quarter of 2022 and we're kind of just uh planning things we're saving up as well because opening a brick and mortar store it cost a lot of money anything extra we can have for capital really helps with opening it to how we want to open the store. Um, so with that said, we would love any support with boardgamewitheducation.com that is helping us get towards of our, toward our goal of creating a physical space. Um, one thing that I've always wanted to do is create that sense of community. And I've loved the community we have online, really, really awesome community we have online. And I'm excited Super excited to bring that to a physical space here in the San Fernando Valley in Los Angeles. So if you're ever in the area, feel free to come by the store too. That'll be uh, be a little bit from now, but we're excited. And then that is 
two other things with that. So we will be creating a vlog about our process. So if you're interested in more behind the scenes of what that looks like, how we are doing it, what's involved, be sure to subscribe. We'll create a separate playlist for that vlog. And that's why we're creating some other content related to tabletop games, because we will be um, trying to bridge that gap between hobby games and mass market or uh, general public, the general public and hobby games and really leveraging the benefits of tabletop games as part of our mission with the brick and mortar store. So before I go, if you have any questions about the brick and mortar store, if you have any questions about games for learning, any questions about anything I talked about, be sure to leave a comment below or send me an email podcast at boardgamewitheducation.com. Uh, your questions really help because it helps me understand what people are responding to, what you enjoy, what you want me to look at creating more content in the future. I'm um, really excited. We'll be back in probably three to four weeks. We usually take about a three to four week season break. So we're just going to kind of focus our content and come back with season 13 in about three to four weeks. So as always, thank you for checking out boardgamewitheducation.com or boardgamewitheducation on our channel. Check out boardgamewitheducation.com for any of our new games. We're out, always adding new games every week. All right, so thanks again, and we'll see you in a couple weeks.